Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the voice of the St. Louis Cardinals and your new Hall of Famer, John Rooney. Holy cow, how did you get in my room? That was one of the first voices I ever heard, listening to Harry Carey, Jack Buck do the Cardinals, while my father... <laughs> now, we got that out of the way. While my father and I, we sat in the back of an old uh, Buick and listened to KFEQ or KMOX when it came in. And I got to uh, learn about Stan Musial, Terry Moore, Bob Gibson, and, and learn baseball. And I, I said at that time, I was just a kid, I want to be a major league baseball announcer. And I got to be a big league announcer. I got to work the CBS game of the week. I, I got to work with the Minnesota Twins when they beat the Cardinals in 87 and move on to the White Sox. And 18 years later, the White Sox won the World Series. And the next year I moved to the Cardinals and they won the World Series. And then I got a chance to uh, be a Cardinal broadcaster with Mike Shannon and with Mike Claiborne and Ricky Horton and be a part of an organization that I grew up listening to. But to be around the likes of Harry Carey, Harry was doing a game one day at Wrigley Field out in the bleachers, had his shirt off, and he's looking at the ball game, calling it. Steve Stone was back in the booth keeping everything straight. And Harry goes, well, the two ball, two strike count to Hojo. Here it is, struck him out, no line drive to third. No, Harry, it was a strikeout, and they're throwing the ball around the infield. <laughs> we got to do things like that. And then Jack Buck, you know, three-finger brown, always gave you 60%. <laughs> and to be around Denny Matthews in Kansas City. Hey, Fred, how's about some cheese soup? And to be around Fred White, the late Fred White, uh, what an inspiration he was and a great broadcaster. But... I am so thankful for the Earls family, for Ken Meyer and his family, and all of your families. This is, uh, I can't tell you how important this is to me because you took a chance and you gave a young broadcaster an opportunity to get a start, to grow with the community, to make some mistakes and learn from them and get better. And the vision that Clyde Lear and Derry Brownfield had, that Jim Host had when he hired me to do 19 Final Fours and work with CBS Radio. I thank God, I thank you, I thank the association for this wonderful honor of just for a chance to be on the radio, to call games, to be a part of the Cardinal Nation that you're a big part of. And thank you so much for this honor. I thank my family. I thank my friends who have been here. What you do is bring people together. And you brought my family and friends here together. And one of the best nights off I've had from a baseball game in a long, long, long time. But uh, so I will we'll keep it brief. And I will say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so very much. Thank you, John.